Howdy ho, Arkansas Pilgrim here again. About to give you an update on my garden. It looks a lot better than it did last time. Uh, if you saw my rant where I was basically letting out my frustrations, which was mostly a joke. Um, especially the gardening sucks intro that I did. That was just part of me and my strange sense of humor. Anyway, I have made quite a bit of progress on cleaning it up and working the garden properly. So, here we go. As you see, the jungle is gone, uh, mostly. Uh, there's a few spots still that I didn't get all the weeds cut down. I came in with a push mower, and even down the middle of the rows here, I cut all the weeds that were growing down, and collected them in a bag and actually used them as mulch for my tomatoes that are growing here along this last row. And yeah, and there's some of my <laughs> cardboard that I was using before that got blown around by the wind. But I have also put in some sort of trellises for these tomatoes. Uh, I haven't trellised these yet, but they're, uh, that's coming. And as you can see, oh wow, there's even a little tomato on that one. Yay! Um, but uh, these tomato plants have grown up a little bit since I put these uh, sticks up. And some of them are even tall enough now to actually be tied to the trellis. Only three or four were when I put it up. Um, I have my squash and they're blooming. Uh, but I have one that's dead, and I guess this is my tip for this video. Um, <clears throat> be careful when you're clipping weeds around your plants. I had planted, and if you see, there's like a little stick right there. That's how I marked the uh, spot I planted the seed first. I stuck a stick in, put the, little, put the seed right in front of it. Well, it didn't come up right in front of it. It actually grew over to the side and came up several inches from that stick. And I was going through and trimming, actually, as I was doing a lot of trimming of weeds all around here, and actually, I might as well show it to you. You see how some of these, there's bigger openings here in the cardboard. So I cut large openings because I realized I'd closed it off so much that even when it rained, rainwater wouldn't be getting in there. So I cut the openings bigger, but I also went around and dug like a little moat. You can kind of see how, or maybe you can see, it's actually kind of trenched in here. Because when I was watering, you know, I could just see the water flowing off the surface. It wasn't soaking in where the plant was. So I went around and opened up and I did it on everything, on the peppers and, well actually I haven't done it on the uh, squash yet. But I dug that little moat so that I could water and actually have the plant, you know, <laughs> get watered instead of having it run off everywhere. And as I was doing it, the last thing I was doing was right here. And I was getting tired. <clears throat> and I was, on everything else, I was careful to look at my, my clippers. They're uh, right here. Let's see, uh, yeah. So be careful to put the clipper beside the plant or beside the plant before I started snipping. I wasn't so careful here. So hey, long story longer, when you're clipping weeds around your plants, pay attention to what you're doing. Okay, now uh, back to the improvements on the garden here. Uh, oh, yeah, I was noticing it when I did the the uh, little moats I put around. I also put some ground up eggshell. I forgot to put the eggshell in when I transplanted the plants. That's the proper way to do it. So a little bit of crushed eggshell in the hole before you put the transplant in or the seed. And that calcium in the eggshell will help prevent blossom end rot. Uh, but now I went ahead and put it on the surface. <clears throat> Hopefully that will help. We'll see. Uh, better than not doing it at all. May end up using some Epsom salt like uh, Sarah over at uh, the Big Blue House Homestead recommended. 
because even though it has magnesium, I guess it's got calcium in it too, and either eat or maybe even both of them actually help prevent blossom end rot in tomatoes. Okay. Now, hey, and this is what's got me really excited. My peppers. Peppers are growing well, and actually I need to top them off. That was another thing that I've heard from several people. I think Sarah, I think Johnny Boy over at Will It Grow. Um, I think Arkansas Woodcutter said it too. Uh, topping off the pepper plant so that they bush out uh, and produce way more peppers. Well, these I need to do that, but I also... I've got peppers. These are pepperoncini here. Look at those. Hey, these are harvestable. So are those. Guess I'll be doing a pickling pepperoncini video soon. And here, these are Italian sweet peppers, and there's some some growing on there too. Um, actually, see, uh, yeah. I can't remember the name of them. It's some sort of some sort of foreign name. Uh, but hey, they're producing. I'm getting production out of my garden. You know, it's gardening is a lot more fun when you actually get some produce out of it. Uh, you know, that's uh, uh, that's you know. I, I guess you could write that down and put it on a plaque. You know, a bit of blatantly obvious wisdom. And, uh, oh, hey, look at that. Tomatoes on the tomato. Where am I? Yeah. Tomatoes on the tomato plant. All right. Man, I'm, this was just supposed to be an update for everybody else. It's an update for me, too. This is the first time I've seen those. Uh, and here's the disaster of my cabbage. I've been almost ignoring this. I, I just, I mowed the weeds down in the walkways so that I could use it for the mulch. But, I mean, there's no way these are going to produce. It's too hot. Uh, so I haven't really done anything else with them. Uh, I'm going to pull them up and feed them to the chickens, I guess. But yeah, but, hey, these, I mean, these have been decimated by cabbage worms. If, uh, you know, actually, if you looked at the, the rant video, you saw how, you know, some of them were already getting chewed on. But, uh, yeah, yeah, they, they, they're all, these green ones are almost gone now. I guess these ones are a little bit chewed on, uh, the purple, but, uh, not near as bad as the green for whatever reason, you know. I think it's cabbage worms that chew leaves like that. Um, um, here's the other part of the garden that I even got to. I'm just going to mow it down. I'm going to move this black plastic. I'm going to kind of continue to work on getting rid of weeds um, for next spring, uh, doing the, the garden prep that, that I should have done this time, but this was one thing or another, didn't have time to do. So anyway... Uh, there you have it, an update on my garden. And, oh, there was one more thing, man. There's always like, oh, one more thing, oh, one more thing, oh, one more thing. Here's my pepper plant that I am going to beat Johnny Boy with um, for, uh, for the longest pepper challenge. So it's transplanted and didn't die. So, hey, things are still looking good. Anyway... That's the update. Thank you all for watching. God bless y'all. See you next time.